Well, it's March 16th, and this is definitely a record for me. And the further northern Sierras above Sacramento and Oregon, uh, they harvest ladybugs sometimes, I've been told, all the way to early mid-April. Um, for me, this is as late as I've ever had it. I'm up here in one of my favorite areas. It's called the Devil's Den. I suppose it's because of the way the wind can blow through these trees in here. With all these beautiful trees, uh, 150, maybe upwards of 200 feet tall. And the wind just comes whistling through this little canyon. Actually, yeah, a canyon, also a big meadow. I've been coming here and getting bugs for probably 12 years now. And here's what happens when it snows on the bugs. As the snow melts, they start crawling out from underneath of it. Of course, a warm, sunny day like this, they're in a frenzy to get out of here and get go on to any place the wind blows them where they can start feeding on aphids and caterpillar eggs and thrips, mites, little white fly. Just about anything that's a soft-bodied pest that will be growing on all the grasses and flowers and trees and everything with new foliage down below. So, I get busy in here and harvest. It'll take a couple days to harvest out this area because there's a lot of snow on the other side of here. Anyways, a good example of it's never too cold in late winter, early spring to put ladybugs out in your area. They'll just go to sleep. When they wake up, they'll get busy on all the plants, cleaning up all the plants in your garden. And if you do put them out and it gets really cold and snowy, no big deal. Thank you. Have a great time with your ladybugs.